He always had um, a smile on his face. He was such a kind soul. Um, always wanted to make people laugh. Churon McCombs has many good memories of her son Gavin, but now that is all she and her family are left with. It's a tragic accident that could have been prevented, but unfortunately wasn't. Two Friday nights ago, the 15-year-old sophomore at Billings West was thrown from the back seat of a car in a rollover crash on King Avenue West. He died on the scene. Police suspect speed was a factor. It was something his mother says she'd worried about a lot. Ever since he got his license, um, even took driver's ed, I have been worried about him because he's a teenage boy. That's what they do. And we've had this conversation over and over again. We've talked about you know, wearing your seat belts, especially in the back seat, because nobody thinks about wearing their seat belt in the back seat. Gavin's older sister Haley was the first to find out about the accident and that her little brother did not survive it. The one thing our whole family agrees to is I hope like everybody learns a lesson from this. It's something nobody wants to feel. It's a hard feeling and None of us wish this on anybody. It's hard to imagine like finding a new reality without him. So it's really hard to think about that. Um, it's been really challenging and just super heartbreaking to think about all of it. Hug your loved ones. Tell them, you know, that you love them. Make amends. Like life can be too short. Gavin's family is not the only one dealing with heartbreaking loss. Weeks earlier in December, four teenagers died in this crash on Minnesota Avenue. The grieving mother says after hearing about that, she talked to her son once again about the importance of slowing down and buckling up. I think the main issue is that a lot of these boys, they don't think it can happen to them. And it did. And it was a tragic accident. It wasn't anything anybody could do except... Hopefully it just doesn't happen to another family. I'm stuck in a nightmare that I can't get out of. And I don't know if I ever will. In Billings, Russ Riesinger, MTN News.